I'm gon' make it. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' take it. If it's haters around, I'm gon' shake them. If that bitch wanna clown, I'm gon' bake her. If it's money around, I'm gon' cake it. Backstabbing niggas talk around town, they call fakers. All the bitches that I hang around be money makers, heartbreakers get dough by the pound. I love the lies, lime lies, take a picture of me. I'm at the club every night, getting lit, my homie. Blowing drove, popping mold, be the shit, my homie. Red carpet head to toe, you know the niggas on me. I see you watching, I ain't stopping, killer for the critics. Yeah, I done did it, we done did it, niggas deal with it. It ain't no shame, cause that's the name, player play the game. I forge ahead to stack my bread and count my blessings, man. My blessings, man, so. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' take it. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it. And I'ma take it, you niggas gon' hate it. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it. Fuck what you say. All right, welcome to One Message and a Battle Tarot. My name is Juan and I am your spiritual advisor. Hello and welcome back to all of my beautiful messengers all around the world in your respective places. I appreciate and love you so very much for every single thing that you do. Number one, being a subscriber, liking my videos, sharing my content, and connecting with me in the comments because I love, love to hear from you. All the love tips and donation, guys. Thank you so much for how you support me and help the channel to grow and thrive. Patreon members and personal clients, amen and hallelujah. If you're new here, you're more than welcome to stay and join the gang gang. I would love to have you here. So make sure you lock in and subscribe, okay? Hit the notification bell so you do not miss an upload or a beautiful moment when I go live to connect with you personally. Also, to book a reading, that information is always in the description box below or the bio, okay? Um, do me a favor and like this video that puts my beautiful psychic messages out into the world for people to hear and to heal. Also, you can book your psychic counseling monthly through Patreon, okay? Um, so go head over there and you'll see all the options that are available to you so we can get you some guidance for 2023. If you would like to support the channel through love donation, you can tip me, the bartender, at Cash App, PayPal, or pledge your allegiance again through Patreon. These are general readings for independent <laughs> for independent and entertainment purposes but you see what that sign says mm -hmm. okay and that's all she wrote all right so welcome back 2023 we are here let's get into it for messy mondays okay i actually could have put this on a uh, true crime okay tarot ain't nothing funny you know what i mean ain't, ain't nothing funny about none of it okay but it was just me going back and forth okay like where do i want to file it let's go into messy monday because we know monday is the first day of school for a lot of the students going back and over the past week uh national news there's a six-year-old male student um who apparently brought a rifle to school and uh shot his teacher okay um a white female uh 30 years old something like that early 30s 30 years old okay so of course there was national outrage and everybody is just like oh my gosh blame the parents you know the political people the state congressmen politicians got on like oh gun laws blah 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 blame this blame that oh my gosh the poor teacher blah 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 you know put the parents blah 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 but what was interesting to me was that nobody I mean, I know what the kid, the kid was wrong, right? Okay, I, that's like a given, like, duh, you know what I mean? But nobody was checking for the kid, you know, because with intuitive deduction, I'm like, okay, so you have, number one, a six-year-old, okay? You have a six-year-old 
that packed a gun. I, I heard it was a rifle from what I understand. Okay. So, uh, I, it was my understanding at first, um, cause when it was first coming out, the news was all over the place. They were like, he shot her in the stomach. And then I just read today, uh, they were like, no, he shot her in the chest. But anyway, a six year old, we have a six year old that packed a rifle or, you know, a heavy gun, took it to school. Okay. Took it to school. All right. To get smoked with his teacher. So my thing is why everybody had this outcry, oh my God, protect the teacher, poor teachers. And yes, all of that, all right? There should be no guns in schools, no gun shootings. I'm not debating all of that. But still, I, I still have the, I'm like, well, what had happened, okay? What happened where this six-year-old boy decided at home, what was he thinking about? That was just like, yeah, I'm gonna go to school and I'm gonna smoke my teacher tomorrow at six years old, okay? So apparently he shot her after some sort of altercation or something like that, and then he shot her. So again, my question was, well, what 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 she do? Okay, because in a court of law, you're presumed, you know, they say presume innocence till guilty, but my question is, it's like, you know, well, God forbid he shoot her over some Legos, but I just don't see that happening. It's just very extreme. For a child that young, okay, to decide, I'm going to pack up a rifle, okay, or whatever it was. I said, uh, from what I understand, it was like a rifle or something like that or whatever. And how, how he even get it to school, okay? But just to pack a gun and just like, I'm going to go to school and smoke my teacher because uh, why now? And somebody else uh, mentioned... Uh, the other little boy who killed his mom because uh, he wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't let him order a video game. But baby, he was 10, okay? We talking about a six-year-old, okay? So pipe down, okay? In the either. Shut the fuck up, okay? 10 and six is totally different. This is a six-year-old. So I want to know why, okay? I want to know why. And my theory is also like, I'm not going to sit here. Everybody was outraged, but let's not sit here and act like, you have never seen teachers bully kids, okay, or had that one teacher that was just on your ass or just made school a living a nightmare. Even my own uh, teen, as a teenager, okay, has had that issues a lot. We hear it all the time. So it's just like, I'm not going to just presume that, you know, the kid did all of that just for, no, I have questions. Basically, that's what, that's, I say all that to say. I have questions what happened, okay? What what happened, all right? So that's why we are here, okay? Um, I really don't know how to go about this. And it's crazy because I have this little this little deck that's like uh, for school age uh, children. So I'm going to use that to try to pull some energy or whatever. But um, let's see what's going on. Okay, uh, automatically, uh, barely bottom of the deck stubbornness selfishness okay what does it say selfishness arrogance okay and something attitude i can't i don't know why they made this yellow something attitude okay but basically um and this is this is her <laughs> okay it this her all right stubborn okay selfishness okay and arrogance on this card and something about some kind of attitude i really can't see what that says because uh people like to use fonts and all that and it's just like don't use all that tell us what had, what what's going on okay What's going on? Okay, so we have stubbornness. What was the energy in this classroom for this six-year-old? Okay, and the motive behind uh, this shooting here. What was the energy in this classroom? Okay. Okay, so somebody was a stickler. All right, for schedule, maybe he was a uh, behind schedule or something like that. Okay. Oh, because I saw loneliness earlier in the deck. So this was an exclusion okay, is what this is looking like with this collaboration, that, that maybe because he was delayed in some way, okay, that he felt like uh, there was some favoritism or some exclusion for, from the group. Let me get this going on here, okay. Okay. 
He may have been delayed in some type of way, okay, educationally delayed in some type of way, and felt that, uh, yeah, it's giving a little bit of favoritism, okay, friendship, okay, here, possibility, okay. Tell us about the energy in this classroom, why this six-year-old would want to shoot his teacher. Why the six-year-old wanted to shoot the teacher? Care, aid, perseverance, overload. Okay, so we have care, we have frightened, okay? So uh, there was some aspect of some f f aid, okay? You know, <laughs> mm. overload and perseverance. There is some aspect of uh, the attention that is giving like, you know, if there was some type of developmental delay is what I'm hearing. It's just like, you know, my parents never had a problem with me or loving me or treating me, whatever. But of course, that's what your parents are supposed to do. OK, but there's something uh, there was an energy. What I'm getting here with this frightened. OK, back into a corner. Aid here. Work overload. OK. And perseverance is that he tried his best, but there was something about this teacher's disposition that, um, I don't know if she was afraid of his developmental disabilities or, or something. That's what it's giving. You know, like if somebody is, uh, again, has developmental delays or whatever and whatever comes with that, all right? And you know when your teacher has a certain um just disposition where it's you know it's like okay it's easier to work with this person than it is to work with that person or it, you know what i mean like that's what this is kind of giving here okay and then we have overload and perseverance okay feeling like he couldn't get a hold of the work or feeling like uh, so there was so much work that he couldn't get ahead here, okay? His mind may have wondered uh, in class, okay? I don't know if he was autistic or anything like that, okay? What is this stubbornness, okay? What is the stubbornness with this teacher? Okay, so we had robbery. Okay, so she took things from him. If he was someone that liked to uh, play, you know, with, uh, uh, with toys, or maybe he had a favorite something, um, in class to tie, uh, to, to ground him or, you know, to help, uh, past the time, or maybe he was a daydreamer or something uh, like that. There is a feeling that this kid was ignored, okay? So uh, there was something that she took from him, okay? It says exploitation, okay? And caution and unfairness, unfairness, okay? Here, collaboration, unity enhancement and backup okay it's giving that she was paying uh, more attention to a particular type of student than she was to him uh, like he was kind of left to his own uh, devices again maybe because of some type of delay here schedule we have management plan organized okay Again, so with this robbery, when I'm asking about this stubbornness, okay, and the stubbornness says uh, selfishness, attitude, and arrogance, okay? Exploitation and caution robbery. So she took something from him, okay? 
Then we have a uh, blindness, awkward, unknown, okay, vision problems. But again, this is giving me the energy that he was ignored to some extent in class in favor of uh, other students, again, maybe who were able to keep on task or whatever this was. He felt ignored, okay, and whatever he used, okay, in class, uh, whatever item, whether it was an iPad or whatever the hell it was, okay, that he used to self-soothe, okay, the energy from this teacher of being ignored, you know, maybe that was taken from him or something like that, okay? All right. Um, we have vow here. Leadership. I don't know why they make these little... <laughs> Things like this. Hope of this is like playground energy. Okay. Playground energy with this vow. Okay. And then confinement. So she would take his recess. Captivity, tolerance, unfreedom. Okay. So she would take things from him that he would use to self-soothe because he was being ignored in class with this blind. You know, he basically felt like she would walk past him or ignore him. Or, you know, it's like, you don't see me here or, or whatever. Again, this could be because of some delays. And I'm just saying delays because of this schedule and this kid look like he's trying to keep up. It said he was overwhelmed, okay? And maybe treated differently because he wasn't on pace with the other class. There's an ostracizing, uh, ostracized ostracization, I don't know if I'm saying that right, type of energy here. She constantly took his recess, okay? Um, from him and he had to watch again, maybe he watched the other kids play or, or whatever. This is captivity, low tolerance, low patience, uh, for him here. Okay. Yep. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Bullied, live and learn. He was bullied not only by the ostracized, ostr being ostracized by the teacher, being ostracized in the classroom, okay, but also being ostracized by the other students and probably her not managing this. Now, keep in mind, she in her 30s, so she's still, I mean, she ain't. 30s is different from 20s, but, you know, you still can fumble mentally or character-wise in your 30s. You know, everybody ain't established with that proper, you know what I mean? Because 30-year-olds uh, 30, 30 of today and 30-year-olds from my day, two, to two totally different energies, okay? These babies on social media, TikTok, they be focused on the wrong shit, all right? And that mob mentality is easy to get caught up in, even as a, a teacher. Everybody don't have morals. You understand what I'm saying? And it's crazy that this comes out because that's the first thing I said. I said, ain't no way a kid gonna bring a rifle to school and shoot their teacher if it like what did she do okay so it says live and learn experience training development she was a bully okay embarrassing him um humiliating him in front of the other students okay and an unwillingness to be patient with him and, and teach him to have that patience with him to teach him properly, okay? So not only was he bullied by the teacher, he was bullied by the students, ostracized, humiliated when he couldn't keep up uh, at the same level as the other students, you know, as far as the work, the lessons being taught, you know, what's, what's, what's four plus four? A uh, two, ah, ha, 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 Oh, Johnny, we went over this just five minutes ago. We've literally, did you do your drills? Okay, we literally just did this. I literally worked through all the problems with you. So how did you come up with a two? We just did this, you know? Did we just, I just gave you all the, an the answers right there on your paper. Uh, this is me channeling. This is what I'm getting from this classroom environment, okay? How this kid was humiliated, okay? And her taking his recess for basically shit that, you know, he didn't have any fucking control over. Again, there may have been some type of learning disability and she was constantly humiliating, ostracizing and punishing this little boy, okay? Yes, look, because the vow, 
if he couldn't keep up in class or get his assignments together or whatever, you know what I mean? She would take his fucking recess, okay? And even uh, outside, you know, uh, ignoring him, making him feel, yeah, this is what, okay, look, it says a blind, okay? Confinement, okay? And bullying, all right? He would get in trouble. Yes, bitch. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? Like, you ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell me, okay? I've been, I've had this gift since I was little, reading the fucking room and reading people. As soon as I saw her picture when they released it, I knew what the fuck was up. But even before I saw the picture, I just, just knew, like, something, nobody asked questions. Like, why would he do that, okay? This is her ass, okay? This is blind, her being blind to him being bullied in fucking class. Uh, I, I'm legally blind. I didn't see shit. You didn't see shit? You didn't see what they did to me? Okay, so not only was she bullying him, okay, she was blind to other kids bullying him. And then when he would stand up for himself or maybe even say something, he was the one that was fucking punished. So not only is she doing it, the other students are doing it. You know what I mean? Of course he go to school and he won't smoke. He got hit. That baby was tired. Okay. Flat out. That baby was tired. Period. Period. And she was punishing him and favoring these students that were bullying him. The fuck? What's the schedule? It's pissing me off. Like, I like, and nobody, nobody had the fucking, uh, uh you know, just like common sense, like nobody, asked. and I look all over Twitter, all over Instagram, like nobody asked, like, well, why would he do that? Everybody's like, oh, poor teacher, poor, yeah, poor her, but what the fuck she do? What you do? Okay. Ain't no baby gonna feel like they need some type of protection or have, you know, what that baby had in his heart that he felt like he needed to grab a gun to go to school in case the teacher was applying a certain kind of pressure that made him feel fucking threatened. If it wasn't a student, it was gonna be, uh, if it wasn't a student, it was gonna be her. Or if it wasn't her, it was gonna be the student. But I feel like that I could see the anger being more towards her because she ain't protecting him no kind of fucking way. Okay, she like the leader of the fucking bullies here. What is this schedule? Okay. Yeah, this is like a point system, luck and gain. You know what I mean? If you stay on top of um if you stay on top of your 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 assignments or the, you know, uh, whatever the lessons, you know, you get a star, you get extra points, you get to go outside and all. Yeah, she this bitch. Oh, listen, I'm, I'm so, oh Lord, I'm getting like, I'm getting mad. I'm getting so mad because I know bitches like this. I know bitches like this. Okay. So we have luck. This is a reward system here. All right. Uh, fortune reward jackpot. Okay. So there were little, uh, perks and rewards she would get, you know, the teacher give you a star and shit. You know, best behavior, good homework, classroom helper, all of that. And you get shit, right? You gain shit, right? It says gain, okay? Uh, profit and uh, um, profit uh, uh, cultivation. Oh, this is reaping the benefits of your work, okay? Uh, she, she wouldn't recognize him when he would do well if he oh lord all this fell over lord oh this pissing me off oh this is making me so mad this is making me so mad because i could feel this baby energy okay like you see everybody effort you see everybody uh everything but me here okay um so blind to his work blind to whatever effort that he did put in here okay uh even when he did put in effort this is like you're not even recognizing yeah i might you know say it's 10 questions and uh you you got 10 questions okay so i got uh four wrong but i got six right okay i got six questions right yes i got four wrong but i got six questions right okay this is her taking his privileges taking all you know uh everything because he wasn't measuring up to the other students here all right here 
So while everyone else was rewarded, okay, for their efforts or whatever, she would take, she would take his toys, take his iPad, you know, uh, everything. Act like she don't see his efforts, take his recess, okay? Um, flaunt, okay? This is, again, this favoritism shit, flaunting, okay? The other kids, good job, Johnny, da 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 da, da. The, the same motherfuckers that's bullying, okay? Good job, good job rewarding, okay, people that were being mean to him, all right? Or, or just, uh, the, you know, that favoritism shit, nepotism, thank you. Well, nepotism is if somebody is related to you. So I don't know if somebody in the class was related because I don't even know why I said nepotism here. But it was there was an extreme of uh, favoritism of awards that she never, he's saying here, she never gave him props for shit. He, she was punishing him day after day after day after day. Stop here. Look, break, pause, stagnation, okay? Most of his anxiety came from her, from dealing with her, from, you know what I mean? Like she did, and he also saying she did nothing to stop this fucking bullying at school. Nothing at all. She knew uh, if anything, his uh, de developmental delays, problems, anxiety, uh, the bullying at school from not only her, and her humiliation, which heightened the bullying from the students, that was a lot of the reasons that he struggled in class. And who, who can fucking focus with that shit? I, you know what I mean? You can't focus when you're being bullied. That's the point. That's why bullies do that shit. To throw you off your path, to throw you off your game, to make you doubt yourself. That's what humiliation does. So even if you are uh, gifted or you just do things different or maybe you learn different, if you got somebody bullying you and humiliating you 24-7, of course you're going to check the fuck out. She did nothing to stop this. She he said she did nothing to stop this at all, okay? nothing 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 okay he got punished he was constantly punished okay <sighs> what is this collaboration here what is this collaboration here with this teacher and this student okay acting like he wasn't fucking there uh, again, you got, you know, how they mix up, uh, at least back in the day when we were in classes, uh, you know, everybody, uh, you know, the, I mean, eventually they had special ed classes or whatever. And I ain't even saying this baby was special ed. I just feel like this baby was different. I don't know what was different about him, but he was different. And for whatever reason, she excluded and ostracized and humiliated him. Period. 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 Listen, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. It says third will. Enemy. Distrust. Okay, flirtatiousness, okay? Collaboration, okay? This also imp implies, I mean, it definitely implies some shit here. So I don't, I don't know. Okay, she looked kind of she she okay, she look how she look and 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 based on what I had said, like like what she do, she did that shit, okay? <laughs> as soon as I saw her face, whatever he said she did and whatever reason like she did that shit, okay? But this is extreme favoritism, uh, even to the point that it's uh, inappropriate, okay? I would say inappropriate. Uh, there are some students that there is some uh, type of inappropriate favoritism going on here. Uh, he's also saying, yes, with this collaboration, this is them ganging up on him in class, okay? Period. Her joining hands together with other people. Okay, listen, okay? Third wheel. When you're a third wheel, you're excluded to some extent. Okay. Um, it could also imply that she was having some type of relationship at work with somebody too. Uh, if she's married or something like that. Okay. Or she could have been, um, this could also imply that, uh, ooh, ooh, shut your mouth. Nah, really? Because you know what? This could also imply 
Okay, with this collaboration, you know how you have, uh, you know, teachers come in, they whatever, whatever. But this could also imply she could also be having relations with somebody. You know, you eat where you don't. They say don't eat where you should. Having relations with somebody at work. Maybe he walked in and saw something he shouldn't have. Okay, and uh, because of that, she started treating him differently. You know, he already had whatever, but maybe this baby saw some he shouldn't have seen and became enemy number one from that, okay? But I'm also getting that type of energy, him being excluded in class, okay? Her showing inappropriate attention, uh, adoration to certain students, extreme favoritism. But again, there also could have been a situation where she was seeing somebody at school, okay? That might be something that uh spirit just throwing in there be like and she was fucking one of the teachers she was fucking this i'm hearing the science teacher something like that okay uh period what is this collaboration and third wheel here my god my god uh i might have to do several readings because i, I want to get to the bottom of this i want to get to the bottom of this because i you know yes she was a bitch she was a bitch because he was different okay offense madness unpleasantness Okay, and also with this uh third wheel here, okay, he might have had a best, uh, maybe if he was being bullied, okay, he had like one, you know how you get that one person in class that's nice to you, you have that one individual that's nice to you, even though you're being bullied by and picked on by everybody else, you had that one person be like, man, leave him alone, leave her alone, leave him alone, you know what I mean, like, why is you bothering him, or whatever, 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 this is fury, this is jealousy here, she was a bitch on wheels, period, okay? Period, period, period. And again, if he saw something he shouldn't have seen, that automatically made him, uh, that automatically made him a target. Yeah, man, I know, I know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? Shit, because it's coming out in the damn cards, okay? Look, Endos and endorsement. I don't even know how to say that. Okay, this is bribery. You see how him he could she okay. This baby saw something he should not have seen. Maybe he came in early from recess or something. Maybe on recess he had to take a potty break and came back to the class to get some out his book bag. Or, I don't know what he walked in on something, but I get the idea that he walked in on something, saw some he shouldn't have, okay, with maybe one of the other staff members or something like that. She blew up at him. What are you doing here? What are you? Da, 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 da. You're supposed to be blah 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 blah. Remember, this is a baby. He's six year old. He like, well, shit. I just, I, you know, I can't. Uh, it was cold outside. I came to get my jacket. I didn't think you was gonna be in here doing whatever or yada yada. yada you know what I mean? What are you doing? So her first instinct was to blow up on him. Okay, he became. Then it's just like, okay, okay, cool. You know, uh let's talk about this well what did you see or you know can i offer you this 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 you know can i can i can i offer you some rice crispy treats i'm allergic to rice okay well uh yeah can i can i offer you uh can i offer you some candy you know uh me and mr you know harris were just whatever but anyway it's no i'm sorry i yelled at you it's no big deal here how about some candy i'm really sorry let me apologize you know can i offer you uh, some candy can i offer you well no i got cavities my mom says i can't eat i can't eat candy you know what i mean this says persuasion bribery uh temptation here there was something going on in addition to all of this bullying and all of this shit okay uh all of this all right period point blank okay and he wasn't he wasn't about it Look, somebody, again, listen, they getting all up in her teeth, okay? Sweetheart, so I don't know if she was married or she was messing with a married man is what this is giving. This third wheel, uh, a sis was messing with a married man or something at work, okay? And maybe the baby walked in and saw something like, shit, I just came to get my jacket. It was cold outside, Miss Abby, okay? It was cold outside. I didn't mean to see, you know, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, but that's what this is here. That's what this is. Somebody that already, yeah, have a, a, a sweetheart or, you know, and being able to, uh, uh, the, they tried to bribe the baby, keep him quiet. I don't know what was going on, but if there was some type of illicit, some activity going on at the school that this child definitely had some sort of knowledge about. I'm, I'm feeling like the uh, whoever this man was, okay, because this man is pretty fucking consistent. There his wife is, you know what I mean? A dirty teacher is. 
there her angry ass is again okay that's them talking about because they getting caught well how can we you know well, what can we do to keep him quiet at home boy said look i don't want no parts of this we just won't fuck around again that's what so she got she got all kind of shit going on okay it's all kind of shit going on but the crux of it is taking it out on this little boy okay period she was messing with somebody at work period okay period point blank okay uh that's what this is just like i had said from the beginning and online uh what did she do you always have to ask okay ain't no kid just gonna bring no damn rifle and shoot they teach in the chest for no for because he's because she took his legos okay it was more than that it was deeper than that and the fact you know i would love to see how this play out or how they gonna lie you know, I did pay attention to the sheriff when they were like, you know, oh, this young man, this, and, you know, this young man, that. So I'm assuming that the baby white, okay, or something other than black or Mexican, because I feel like if it was uh, whatever race they would have said, unless, you know, uh, it's not, and he is black, and that would be the first sheriff I've seen uh, with uh, just that type of moral, uh, that type of character to just protect the child's identity because it's a child all right but the the language that they're using around this six-year-old would suggest that it is a caucasian uh student and this baby here white i mean they got they got black students uh, this, this this baby white okay okay period okay uh listen <laughs> i'm so pissed off I'm so pissed because I'm telling you, I as soon as I saw that bitch picture, I knew. I knew she was terrorizing that baby, period. Terrorizing that baby, okay? I thought he shot her in the chest, uh, in the stomach. He done shot her in the chest, so he made sure to aim, okay? He felt threatened, okay? She was a monster. Think about it. As a six-year-old, you got an adult, okay? Look at this. She was a monster. She was a terrorist to this damn baby, okay? Every fucking day he went to school. You know what I mean? He had to live in some type of fear, anxiety, not only from him, but from the, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, of course, of course. He got, he was tired. End of story, that baby was tired and he came to school to eliminate the threat, point blank and period, okay? Point blank and period, all right? That's what I have for you. Do me a favor. Uh, okay. Do me a favor. Like this video. Yeah, man. She, 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 <laughs> this baby said he dehumanized her. Okay. Made him feel like, like he wasn't shit. Okay. Uh, stripping him of his pride of every, his self-esteem, his self-worth his ego okay she was okay with uh just just okay just terrorizing and 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 just okay like i can't even i can't even put put in the words like i almost want to cry because i could i could just feel this baby's energy okay uh stability harmony acceptance like she was okay it's crazy the, the evilness the level of the evil that she portrayed in this classroom. And when he went home with these memories here, like he's like, bitch, you know, motherfucker, I remember. That's what these memories, like he, it was so many times, so many times, so many times he went home. You know, it's like, it's, it's one thing for somebody to do something once and then you get, you know, like a minute to recover. But this baby said, I can't even count how many times that she stripped me. Uh, yes, stripped me of my dignity, stripped me of my self-esteem, stripped me of my self-worth, okay, as a person, okay? He said, I can tell you, he probably got a journal somewhere where he wrote down all the shit that she was doing. And when he looked back, this is like somebody looking back and it's more bad than good. And he like, yeah, I'm gonna put this bitch in the fucking ground. The end of harm is inevitable endless harm inevitable okay there there was no other way for him there was no other out because she was a fucking terrorist okay to this baby period period and point blank and he got a journal somewhere where he was writing about this or documenting this or something okay this this is a sick bitch okay point blank 
and period that got her rocks off of terrorizing uh this little fucking boy and it's a man at that school okay a teacher or a principal or somebody she was fucking that knows or has knowledge of her relationship with this little boy or what she was doing or something okay but he didn't have no fucking choice okay his only choice was to eliminate the threat so he could stop being hurt okay period he protected himself that's what i have for you my name is one like this video share subscribe i'm out